Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbucks here, and welcome to Season 4, Episode 13 now of the South Indian United Road to Glory Career Mode. This may or may not be the last episode that I uh, upload today. Hopefully, <clears throat> sorry, hopefully I might be able to upload another one, but uh, uh, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. Either way, if I'm not going to get the actual season finished by today, then it will hopefully be by tomorrow, because um, I don't know, we've probably got like oh, 10 or 15 more games left to go in the season, so... Yeah, there you go. But anyway, having a look at where we are at the moment, we of course lost a game against Arsenal, which uh, meant that we were sort of on the decline. We're currently sixth though, but hey, sixth is still not bad. But I mean, it's very, very close to actually securing a Champions League spot would be amazing. But still, uh, Craig Edwards was actually, I just gave him a game because all my strikers were tired as, were really, really tired because, um, yeah, only because like, uh, like Benzia and Barcroft were playing games that were played quite like, you know, pretty close to each other, but still. Uh, a good pass from Sarge and Moses had a shot, an empty net, <coughs> literally an empty net, and messed it up. And of course, if somehow you didn't see the previous episode, then you should probably know, and probably you might be able to tell from the fact that I sound a little bit odd. It's that um, I, uh, at the moment, have a bit of a bad voice, or haven't, I'll just get right back to it. Uh, Giuseppe Muru scored a goal there, a lob through ball, which took a deflection off of like David Luiz, and then didn't go in, but still, that's a belter of a shot from Daniel Sarge, but anyway... Uh, getting back to it still. Uh, I do have a bit of a sore throat at the moment. It's a bit dry, you know, as you do. But um, that is, I'm, I'm going to put it down to the fact that I was talking and shouting pretty much for about an entire hour yesterday making these videos and commentating over these videos. And I'm starting to lose my voice. And it's not going to get any better. But still, have a look at that penalty from Craig Edwards, beautifully placed in the top left-hand corner. Um, yeah, Czech is not going to be able to stop that. Even though he went the right way, it just wasn't going to happen. But uh, yeah, Craig Edwards on the ball, fake shotting past David Luiz. Is that his hat trick? You betcha. David, I mean, Craig Edwards doesn't play a lot of games, and it's again. I'll tell you. I'll tell you why. I tell you all the time. I actually prefer a fast striker with ball control that's really able to make a chance for himself. But Craig Edwards just gets goals all the damn time. It's unbelievable, and he got a hat trick there as he as he shows. But um, yeah, the votes. <coughs> sorry, the votes for that game. I give uh, one vote to Leon Gorska, two votes to Fraser Forster and three for Craig Edwards. And now, <clears throat> excuse me, of course, we now have the final second leg against Marseille. It's going to be at home. Uh, in the first leg away, we lost 2-0. So, yeah, we can get back 2-0 up, and like, let's say we concede one and then score another one. No, it doesn't matter, because that's the away, that's that away goal. We didn't get any of our own. So, yeah, if Marseille score a goal here, then I am, <coughs> then I'm really fucked, because it means I have to win by about three goals, if that's the case. So, yeah, I really don't want that to be the case, but I do want to get two goals as quickly as possible. Marseille get it kicked off, and uh, yeah, we were underway. And in the first minute of the game, they were just passing it around, going about their attack. Arkay with a brilliant tackle, and then a gap, or a gap, a gap in their defense. So Dulafeu just go right on through on goal, finesse it into the corner, hit the post, but it went back to Dulafeu, and on an acute angle, he put it into the. Oh my God, how did he manage to fit that in? I don't know. It's kind of funny, actually, because he hit the post, he ran back onto it, Mandanda couldn't get there in time, and even though it looked like he fucked up the shot, he still was able to put it in the net, so thank God, Christian Eriksen with a header, and then the, <clears throat> or Christian Eriksen with the corner, got it in a Benzia, of all people, and he, unfortunately, uh, missed the header, it's another corner, Eriksen on the header, Ellie Rue, what a header, oh my, oh my God, uh, that, yeah, that's actually my reaction, because, well, I'm going to get a replay of this, look at how Ellie Rue gets up, and you know, twists his neck, gets in front of his man, and scores a goal. That's one of the best headers I think I've ever seen. That's like some FIFA 14, you know, uh, gameplay chavvy shit. Like, if you saw that, if you've seen that gameplay video, I mean, it was unbelievable, that header. Ellie Rue is a sensational centre-back. Tall, strong, quick for a centre-back. It's unbelievable. And look at that. Benzia was just going ham, just going in. Had the shot. Unfortunately, it was saved. But they, look, we're 2-0 uh, against Marseille. That's what I've wanted. Bo Bonnie Perti nearly putting us in front, only a couple of inches, I would think, uh, to the left of the post, and yeah, we went into now extra time, it's 2-2 on aggregate, but still, I either have to hold out for penalties, or I am just going to have to score a goal on my own, because if they score a goal here, then that's that away goal, and I need to win, I need to score two goals without conceding, and look, Exa Barea on the ball, a huge cross in, nobody's manning Varbuena, and it's just a volley that <laughs> hits a crossbar and bounces into the goal. We're going to get a replay over here, but look at this. It's a gr it's a good cross, but please, who is on Varbuena? 
I don't know. And look, he just hits the crossbar and it goes in. So that was really disappointing. And uh, yeah, so we conceded in the first half, didn't score a goal of our own. And now in the second half of the game, or the second half of extra time, we need to score two goals. So I bring on Mendy, I bring on Barkroth, and I bring in Muru. And I made a big call here to take off Ericsson. But, you know, he hasn't been as productive or he hasn't been really that good a transfer, um, you know, just in general. He hasn't really, for the uh, level that he is, he actually hasn't really been doing all too well for me. But still, Mendy, straight away, on the ball, puts in the equalizer, or should I say the equalizer or on aggregate, but it still doesn't matter. Uh, Mendy scores. You know, I was just running in a straight line. I was expecting, are they going to tackle me? I'm not going to run toward goal. I'm not going to run toward the defenders. Just run in a straight line. I don't know what happened, but I was <laughs> I was able to get a shot off. And look, 3-1 down now. Marseille are just going to hang on for dear life. I'm going, look, ultra-attacking. Let's freaking do this. We need to get the ball back. Kabore, Oramani, more passing, more passing. I'm just defending for life. I need to get the ball back. Ayu, Varbuena, there's no one on that side. Uh, Amal Fatano, a through ball into Varbuena. A good shot, a good save from our keeper. And now we're away. Napolis Mendy, or Napias Mendy, whatever it is. He's on the ball. He's already scored one goal, so he's in hot form. Goes in the middle, sees Bonnie Perti. He's got a man in front of him, so he continues to switch. Gets it in a Barkroth, and now we're just going to pass it around and around because look at the numbers I've got back. One, two, three, four, five, six. You really got to be smart about this. Wait for a gap. Benzia, Bonnie Perti, Benzia, still passing it around. Toko, the, everyone's pushing forward for this. That's that ultra attacking. It's a bad touch, a roll. Went to Bonnie Perti. That's that gap. That's that goal. We got it. 119th minute. The 10th goal for Philippe Bonnie Perti this season. And it's the only goal. It's the goal that he scores in the 119th minute of stoppage time. Of extra time, I should say. That's put us in front on aggregate, despite that conceding an away goal. We're in. We're actually in only if we can hold. Look, from ultra attacking straight to ultra defensive, we hold up the ball. We're in extra time. There is no stoppage time. Referee blows a whistle. What an end to this game, but we're going into the semi final. And look, I would have expected for an occasion like that that my players would be just off their heads. And they're just like, yeah, no, cheers for coming out. No, go crazy. Do you have any idea what just happened? That was unbelievable. But the votes for that game, I gave one to Forster, two to Dolefeu, and three for Ellie Rue. Just <coughs> brilliant stuff in those games. He did, yeah, great work by all the players there. And um, yeah, it's ridiculous. But still, we are continuing in the EuroLeague to the semifinals against another English team in Liverpool. And um, yeah, but for now, another... Uh, should I say, just going back to the Barclays Premier League for now. We'll have EuroLeague action soon, but we do have a game against Newcastle. As you can see there, I just saw one of their players or strikers was injured. But um, still, this is at home. We'd love to do with a win because, <coughs> you know, we've um, we've had a few losses recently, or at least against... Um, uh, we had that loss against Arsenal, the loss beforehand against Getafe. Passes into Mendy. Mendy with space. Shoots. Colacini can't get in the way of it, and Tim Krul can't save it. And as much as I hate scoring against my own team, I need the wins. I need to finish as high as possible. I'd love a top four finish. Maybe if it happens, it happens. But still, we're passing it around beautifully. We've scored a goal. And out from... Now we begin our counter-attack. Edwards playing this game, so hopefully he has a cracker. He continues his run. He's not offside, apparently. Takes a good chest. Gets it down. Shoots. And that's another goal to Craig Edwards. It doesn't matter what game he plays in. He seems to always score a goal in every game he starts. He's just an unbelievable striker for such a, you know, a low overall striker as well. But still... Yeah, two nil up, and I know, and I can only imagine how many times I've probably said "but still," but still, oh my god! <laughs> then that, and I'm kidding, and I'm actually telling you that was totally unintentional. Anyway, yeah, but um, great movement from out of our back half, and uh, yeah, a good little lob through ball in uh, Edwards, but couldn't put in his second goal, unfortunately. But still, uh, Papi Cisse goes around my man way too easily, not great defending, and in the 78th minute, he gets one to pull it back, and this is where I was a little bit nervous, but nope, not anymore. 90th minute. It was still a victory, only by the one goal in the end. Mendy and Edwards, our goal scorers. And, of course, conceding late to Cissé in the 78th minute. Doesn't matter, we got the win. And the votes for that game, we got Castillo with one, or Castillo with one, uh, Edwards with two, and Fraser Forster with three. I'm pretty happy with that selection. And, um, yeah, so we're continuing on. We beat Newcastle. Our next game, I believe, is going to be another... Yep, it's only going to be against Manchester City, who are... Uh, only leading by about nine points with, like, what, like six games left to go or something like that. They pretty much, you know, got it in the bag at this point. But, uh, yeah, they're still the league leaders, and I do not want to lose this game. I need as many three points from games as possible, even if it's against Man City away. But, um, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see, put in a good performance. But still, early on, and there again, with the, and again with the butt stills. 
But uh, yeah, you can see there, a corner, a header, a header away, and then another attempt on goal from another header. I think that was from Jekko, I'm not too sure. But uh, yeah, they're passing it around. Man City, again, pretty early. Goethe in the game, had a shot, it was blocked. Went over for a um, <clears throat> for a corner, which didn't go for anything. Muru with a cross deep into Gortzka, heads it. The near post nearly would have been a ridiculous near post OP goal, but it had the keeper not saved it. But um, yeah, he did get there. So yeah, Manchester City... Um, uh, still winning at the moment, and uh, yeah, continuing on. Tevez on the ball, being defended by Gandolfi. Gets in a through ball in a, uh, in a James Miller, or just Miller, whatever. And um, yeah, he tried a bit of a half volley from an awkward angle, wasn't able to put it in. But now late in the game, a brilliant save pulled out by Fraser Forster when we need him. He's able to pull up a big one. And look, Valena, is he onside? No, he was nearly, nearly onside, as we'll see here on the replay. He would have been away. It, he was still being contested, but it was one of our best attacks for the game. And um, yeah, sadly not to be. But 90th minute, they're passing it around. Referee blows the whistle. It's a goalless draw. And you know what? Against the league leaders, against Man City, as much as I want three points from like every game for the rest of the game, uh, for everything now, I'm still totally okay with uh, a draw against the league leaders. But still... It is, um, and then again, it's another but still. At least I'm being aware of them. <laughs> the first thing is knowing that there's a problem. But still, Benito got one vote in that game. Uh, I gave two votes to RK and three votes to Fraser Forster. My defenders definitely deserve to get, um, you know, the votes or the major votes in that game. But still, and again, it's another but still. It's killing me right now. But oh my God. Hey, hey, I was about to say it and I stopped myself. See, I'm getting better. Anyway, uh, we've got this game. The next one will be against Liverpool. It's a semi-final. Not sure if it's a away leg or if it's a home leg. I don't know. But um, Oh, and have a look at this. Carl Davis, of course, you might have seen it every now and again. Uh, we tried to renew his contract in the January transfer window, and then he said no. So there was a whole bunch of speculation. Oh, does he want to go? And now he's coming to me and said he wants to say So that's good. And um, yeah, so Davis is staying at South End, and uh, that's going to end this episode of South End. We'll have EuroLeague semi-final action against Liverpool coming up soon. Get pumped for that. And uh, yeah, that's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm yours again with the Mars Bucks. Let's hit your target, which for today is, yet again, 1,000 likes. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is probably going to be the last episode for today. Hopefully, I'll be able to wrap up the season tomorrow. And um, yeah, have a good one, guys, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.